All right, we're trying an experiment. We've got um, some 111 degree days coming up here, and I want to see if I can cut some of the heat load into the living room. So this is a 10 by 10 uh, shade cloth. It's rated up to 80%. It's from Ace Hardware. Um, when I step under it, the difference is significant. The, the sun right now is blazing. You step under it and it just kills it. It's wonderful. Um, <clears throat> I've, run, I've run just three uh, pieces of rebar into the ground for right this minute. Uh, we're not expecting really much wind. Um, my first flaw I see is it's already hitting the end of the window down there. So I got to shift it down, but it might turn out that it's just way too far out. The reason I wanted it angled like this is when the wind blows and this thing's flapping around, I didn't want it smacking my new windows. So <clears throat> I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with it. It needs to be shifted down a foot, but I think here in the next couple hours, there's going to be so much more sun sneaking around that corner. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it. Um, anyway, it's a, like I said, it's kind of a prototype. Uh, it's easy to do back here. I can do it on the front of the house too. <clears throat> uh, along the deck, I've got about five or six of these. I'm not really a big fan of the colors, but um, they had them on sale uh, two years ago. And I bought, I don't even remember how many now. I have five. And... Uh, I've got some from the past from camping, so <clears throat> what I did was, this is uh, one inch EMT tubing. Uh, this is some Chinese stuff. This isn't, that piece isn't from uh, Home Depot, but it's still heavy duty enough. Um, use a one inch strap on it, and then for spacer blocks, I just use um, the siding material, pieces of that, and that way the um, bungee cord can fit around it. I use two inch screws, um, which are just barely long enough. Under the siding, there's a half inch piece of insulation board. And then the, then the stud, the, the six inch stud. <clears throat> so I think it bit in there pretty good. There's seven of them because there's a stud every, every two lines, which is 16 inches, there's a stud. So <clears throat> I wanted this nice and well supported. Um, we'll see how it does today. Obviously, it's going to have to get shifted down a bunch, but and that pole, by the way, is 10 foot, and this is 10 foot. The um, shade cloth is um, there's a grommet every foot, but there's 11 grommets because there's one in the corner. So if you count them, there's 11 and on a 10 foot section. <clears throat> so lots of lots of spreading the load out because I mean this sits here, it's nice and calm, but it won't be. Uh, the hotter it gets around here, the more the wind blows. And I just don't want my windows damaged from it, so... <clears throat> anyway, um, these bungees I got off of Amazon a couple of years ago, and they are just outstanding. Oh man, they hold up so well. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we'll kind of test out as the sun goes by. It's about 8.15 in the morning, and uh, we'll see how it goes here. But right now I can tell the difference massively. Being out here directly in the sun versus being in the shade here. <clears throat> I don't know, let's see, can we even see out of this? See, it's, it's pretty good. They say it's up to 80%. I, I might buy that. It's, it's a lot cooler behind here. I mean, it's pretty significant. Um, let's see, I wonder if I could go get my temperature gun. Yeah, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what this gun does. Um, oh man, the battery's really low. <clears throat> so it looks like it's around 110 on this here. That, well, that sounds pretty high, right? Yeah, see, that's almost 170. Okay, so 110 to 170 is a 60 degree delta. That's a big deal. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> so we're approaching a 60 degree delta. Okay, not perfectly 60, but <clears throat> we're getting there. 
So, that's what happens. Um, it's only eight. It's only eight fifteen in the morning. It's not real late. <clears throat> so that number will increase. Um, I'm surprised that the shade shows it's 110, 114. I'm a little surprised by that, but that beats, you know, 60 degrees less is just less that my air conditioning has to do, you know? Um, these are six inch thick walls, but boy, they aren't insulated worth a crap. If I had a lot of money, I'd pull all the siding off the house, all the way around, and put in brand new insulation. That's what I'd do. We ain't gonna go there unless I win the lottery. Anyway, I'll back up here, show you the <clears throat> the whole setup. 10 foot wide, 10 foot long. Uh, that's the finished size, it says on the package. So you're getting your full 10 foot. And uh, if you can tolerate the color, <laughs> I didn't even notice that I put it on horizontally, the stripes. I did it, um, I wanted the, this thing's been used before, so some of the grommets are stretched out, stretched the material out pretty good. So I wanted fresh, <clears throat> the freshest grommets on this thing for, for sitting it here, because this thing will flap around like you can't believe. Um, eventually I'm going to have to get some, I, I can't find my damn baling wire. You bail, bail the, um, the lower 10 foot pipe here to the, the rebar. So it doesn't lift off. I pounded it at a pretty steep angle, but it looks like it's not steep enough But for right now, it's okay. Anyway We'll see what happens in a couple of hours how much of that gets um, That window down there gets exposed to the Sun. We'll have to see I Have to make a correction here at some point, but let's just Try it one stage at a time. That's it for now. See you bye